Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my ultimate dream car and I'm going to be reviewing it. I used to have a 2018 Honda Civic Type R FK8 but this one is also beautiful, the new one. As you can see it's in the boost blue, they fully redesigned everything and they made you know major changes on the outside, interior, the wheels, it's just one beautiful car. So here you got a big opening grill for your intercooler with a nice like honeycomb grill with your really big grill uh grill the upper grill and you got red badging type r badging the headlights are redesigned so pretty much you got your full daytime running lights it's led and then your high beam is in the middle led side marker led turn signal and this, these vents are pretty active right here except right here there's no more vents there that go through here like the my previous generation it had a vent that went to the front bumper to your two wheels and then your fender and out the side coming around their front wheels you got your michelin tires with the brembo brakes really cool looking rotors it's a giant brembo brake right there and your black lug nuts and as you can see this is the 19 inch rim it used to be 20 inches in my car this was 19 with the matte finish really cool color and then coming here you got your aero package so the type R is it's much more wider than your regular civic so they made it where so the air can flow smoothly it goes through here you know Really cool vents. I like they made it like real and active. As you can see, it's really nice. The bottom side skirt is black. Uh, there's no more red tape. Well, Honda got rid of was the red tape that makes it look sporty. It gives a nice touch. So on the rim, there's no red tape. The stripe and on the corner of the lips, as you can see, the red brake caliper that has electronic parking brake. And on the back, you got your like material style fender liners to make it quieter. Previous generation year did have a window. This one has a small window now. You got your black black tail um, antenna. The rear wing is less aggressive unless you get the carbon fiber wing. It's more like modern looking type R. I like the FK, but this one also looks nice. Your LED. There's some running lights right there with the halogen turn signal, halogen reverse light. This one also is your third brake light instead of being in the window. Your license plate. And then the Civic. The letters are more like a black, shiny color. Like a light tint in them. Coming in the back, you got your tow hook right there. You got your exhaust tips with active valve. Really cool. And you can see the bottom of the car. Really nice fins, and then the back you got a little small hole here with the rear marker lights. It's not a full piece no more, it's a small one. Like I said, it's a little less aggressive, but it still looks nice. Big window with the rear windshield, rear window wiper, and then coming out front here, really nice body lines. Looks like you have a cord door handles. And then they put a new feature where it has LED turn signals in the mirror. And you got your front radar sensor, cruise control, nice wipers. Hood scoop is like facing up now. It, it's not no more in the hood like the previous F key had, so it's way cool. I like it. Gorgeous car. Really nice. Now let's see the inside. How spacious it is. Well, before going inside, it's also like all the door sills right here. It's all uh, panel black, nice and painted. The window sill, sorry. It's all panel black with your mirrors. That matches pretty much. Really nice combo, uh, color combo. Black front lip. Sorry, yeah, black front lip. Black side 
skirt and then the back is also black so it makes the contrast of the color like beautiful match perfect coming inside feels very nice you got your nice texture door panel material with your ambient lighting that's red usually the car is off nice suede they made it more puffier more bigger on the new generation really nice looking buttons your two front windows are auto you turn left right fully redesigned um, door handle looks more elegant coming aside you have the jdm style you know back in the 2000s red carpet it's no more black carpet they did redesign the seat my seat did not look like this it is still nice but they made this in the middle where you know so it doesn't have wrinkles and they made it in the middle open pretty much and then coming inside you got your leather wrapped steering wheel with really cool honeycomb style ac vents and the controls right here you got your dimming for the lights up and down you guys surround like sensor view traction control off right there your pedals do look cool just a previous generation with silver and the rubber pieces in the middle to make it sturdy and strong and responsive you can, i think you can also get an option where it says type r but this one just has a black piece you got cool looking red seat bolts coming inside feels very nice you got your volume button has a little click your volume air to talk hands-free switch to music you got your radar cruise control reset up down the leather steering wheel is wrapped with uh, red stitching and then you got your full like race on lights on top the screen is not on but it's like pretty much full digital screen you got your acura style looking led hell uh like interior lights dome lights no auto dimming mirror just a manual one they're a black material with also i think led or halogen light but it's not on coming here you got a new style screen pretty cool modern dials feel really nice your climate control ac no heated mirrors usb uh, usb you got your power outlet your phone charger you got your r mode the best gearbox in my opinion and the type r electronic brake brake hold this feature is really cool because if you're on a hill or just standing in traffic it holds the car for you you got pretty cool big cup holders and then your console has nice suede on it is it a wish it like it moved forward but it doesn't want to the new one the previous generation you could have moved it the way you wanted to forward backwards but it's pretty nice keeps your hand nice and still the shifts feel nice shifts feel really nice and you got your Bose sound system you got type r logo this one is 21692 really nice it's nice no carbon fiber on this one just like a silver plain bezel around the whole car really nice looking car now let's in the back seat and see how spacious it is in the back seat as you can see has black suede you got no ambient lighting no ambient lighting here it's a plastic piece in the back is more simple you got your speakers in the back pretty decent sized cup holders you got a couple holders there pretty much no mix in the middle you got red seat both in the back in the back is just plain soft material and then you got your type r logo so it's pretty nice i mean it's pretty spacious i'm sitting six foot and i put the position of the seat where as if i would be driving pretty cool space wow pressed really nice spacious pretty good headroom and you got the console's a little bit more wider than the previous one previous generation red carpet red floor mats nice little window little led light so it's pretty cool how you now we see every generation of the type r
the fuel cap is also like the previous generation my generation didn't have this cap so this new one has a cap now which is good and push our button it locks and when you lock your vehicle it'll stay locked and when you unlock it it'll open it for you so you could press the button and put a fuel close it made simple and easy turns out i can't open the trunk because the battery's not on because they disconnect it when the car is staying in the showroom so i'm sure it's has big space like your previous generation or fk8 so sorry about that the new type part does come with little upgrades so instead of the previous generation with you know almost 300 horsepower 306 or 308 this one comes 315 2 liter uh, direct injection turbocharged four cylinder engine 6 speed manual and you got your you know sport mode comfort mode type r mode pretty much the msrp for this car is forty four thousand seven hundred ninety five dollars and then with all the nice specs you're you know you're paying four hundred fifty five dollars is extra and the destination charge it costs forty six thousand three hundred forty five dollars and this one is made in japan so that's a really good thing high quality car track car and your mpg you got combined highway 24 miles per gallon city says 28 sorry highway 28 and city 22 you're gonna pay two thousand seven hundred dollars for your annual fuel cost and then you'll spend three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars in fuel cost over the next five years and then the up the markup for the car total price will be fifty seven thousand seven hundred eighty nine dollars and ninety three cents because they add all kinds of packages and market adjustment so it's coming here in the engine bay as you can see it's when eyes has the you know the warmer package keeps your battery warm they changed from the previous years they changed the intake part they changed the way this type part you know intel pipe looks like the hood scoop is right here now as you can see it's not hidden no more with the metal piece like the fk had this thing the engine cap looks the same but it's really really well built engine plenty of power for the track or just cruising around work if you guys are looking for a really good reliable fast front wheel drive the world's fastest front wheel drive production cars track car definitely get the type r you know if your local dealership is willing to sell it to msrp that's awesome but if they're asking markup definitely you can work with them so yeah if you guys really enjoyed this video and you guys are looking for type r definitely get one well you know they still make them and i can't wait one day with cost help we'll buy one and upgrade it and show up to you guys on the channel take care god bless you guys